All right, so first I'm going to show you his way of getting your first growth partner or your growth operating client. And then I'm going to show you my way, which has no flaws. Just a few months ago, I was a few weeks into my freshman year of college. I knew the NPC lifestyle, the rat race, it just wasn't for me. So back then, I unknowingly started this business model that nowadays is called growth operating. And within just three days of outreaching and a sales call, I closed my first growth operating client for $1,500 and a 30% revenue share. Now okay, so um, he charged up front. I want you to pay attention to that. Then he did outreach. So he did outbound outreach. And a couple days later, he got his first client, uh, which was, you know, a couple grand or whatever like that. And then a percentage, the hybrid business model, which I teach in the agency, the partner program. We love the hybrid business model, guys. But I'm going to show you a faster way of doing this after this. So you keep watching. Now, just five months later, me and my partners made $37,000 in our best month and have generated our clients over $585,000 at merely just 19 years old. So That's extremely impressive. What I want you guys to pay attention to is the $500,000 that he generated for his growth partner. Uh, that's for the growth partner, guys. That's not for him. He's making the, what did he say? Like $1,500 a month plus the percentage. So you have to do the calculations of that. I can't remember if it was like 15% or something like that. So you do the calculation of 15% of the 500K or whatever. And that's pretty much how much he made, which for a little kid that just got out of high school, that's pretty impressive. As I told you before, I'm going to show you a different way of doing this. Not saying this way is wrong, but I'm going to show you a different way of doing it. Today, let me break down to you guys what this growth operating business model is and teach you four core concepts that are the greatest factors to my fast success as merely just a beginner. That has led me to drop out of college and where I now get to live the life of kings traveling around here in Bali. So today, let me break down these concepts for you as the big brother just a few steps ahead of you. Okay, so one thing I like about it, guys, is that he's actually doing this, right? So there's a lot of people on here just making videos. Uh, he's actually traveling, he's making money and, you know, purchasing things and doing things, living life with the business model that he's talking about on his channel. All right. Similar to my story. I left during COVID with a family of five, went straight to Mexico, been traveling and now I'll stay in Panama. Right. So like it's some people that's actually doing this and then there's other people that's just talking about this. So you got to pay attention. All right. Beginning with us understanding this. So think of who makes the most amount of money in this online space. People like Iman Ghazi, Andrew Tate. Why? Because they sell what are called info products. But what's so great about this is compared to something like drop shipping, where you have to sell physical products, or SMA, where you have to slave away your time. Just like Facebook, Google, the biggest companies in the world that sell digital products, info products are the exact same thing. People like Iman and Andrew, they sell their information on how to become rich and they package it into a video course or a community and they sell a digital information. Okay, so basically, if you don't know what growth operating business model is, it's still another form of drop servicing, but we'll break it down right here. So what they do is they find an influencer, some type of online uh, influence or a company or something like that that has a decent following with engagement and they're like oh yo guys you aren't really monetizing your audience properly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create this course for you and this community for you i'm going to control the back end and the front end of it all you have to do is continue doing what they're doing you don't have to worry about anything and this will be extra income streams for you and it sounds awesome right uh <laughs> but the issue is guys uh, it's not as easy as a lot of people are making it to seem. It's simple, but it's not as easy. And it's definitely not as hands off as what I'm going to show you. There's a different way of doing the growth operating business model, guys, which are growth partners. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. But so this is about how he got his first client. All the rest of this stuff is pretty much just fluff. That's why I said I was just going to like, you know, We'll skip through a few things and everything like that. Not trying to bash anybody or anything. But so how he got it, he did outreach. Outreach can consist of, you know, DMs. Chances are that's what he did. That's what a lot of the kids are doing nowadays. I'm going to show you a completely different way. Uh, but most of them do DMs or they do cold calls or they do 
email prospecting. So they'll automate emails, they'll scrape a list of influencers and they'll reach out and say, yo, you know, let me build your course for you or something like that. And then when an influencer responds back, the problem is this, a lot of them want to see some type of work that you've done before, right? So we get over that hurdle in the um, agency to partner program, guys. The whole goal is to not make yourself uh, an agency in the traditional sense, like you would do with an SEO agency, with an SMMA agency. The whole goal is to free yourself while adding value to your growth partner, right? So guys, when you're building a course and you're um, um, building a community and you preparing them for the launch and all of that stuff, a lot of you guys, you literally have to wait to make money for the launch, right? And, and that's where anxiety come up. A lot of you guys don't even know if you're going to make money when it launches. Now, if you did your research properly for that um, um, that influence or whatever, they should you know make some sales when you launch, right? If you research their engagement and everything like that. But the problem is this, guys. Uh, there's a different way of doing it. If you do this same thing for offline clients, if you do this for local businesses, right? Now you're cutting all the competition, all this DMing and doing all this extra stuff that you're going to have to do like in abundance <laughs> is, 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 is that's not necessary when you do it with local business partners. OK, so like local businesses, plastic surgeons, realtors, which can be influencers as well. A lot of realtors have big followings. Right. Uh, um, you know, car dealerships. And, and car rental places and stuff like that. If you're doing it like that with these guys, now you can plug in. We have something called the 10 monetization method. So where you start plugging in these 10 different monetizations to the local business, where you start making money as soon as the agreement is made, not, not waiting until you build some course community or have to launch a month later so you can make some money or something. No, we have it to where you can plug these monetizations in. And you can look at all of our testimonials on the channel and all of that. I'm not going to baby you and do all of that extra stuff. You can go and look at that. Okay? So check it out. Tons of these creators are great at creating, but they don't have this business back end, this growth operator. But even with a horrendously bad business, since info products are still so powerful, they still make bank just alone. But that bank is just one tiny whole blueberry. What if you, as the growth operator, went in and turned that whole blueberry into two halves of a watermelon? Then you and the creator get each half of that melon. And how grateful would that creator be? And how much of a win-win scenario are you making? The creator makes more, you make more and you guys get to educate tons of people through the creator's brand and expertise. I mean, it just makes logical sense because step by step, ultimately, all you got to do is find a creator who needs this business help, sign them, make them a marketing funnel, build them a better info product like a school community and a few other things. OK, so as you can see, it sounds very simple and it is simple, but that doesn't mean it's easy. There's a difference. Look up the definition of simple and easy and compare them. OK, so simple meaning is just a few steps that's logical you get the logic of it easy means is effortless to implement okay now this right here this part right here that he's talking about is definitely not effortless to implement all right but once we teach you to get your growth partner your your, your partner there are things once they agree you just simply set up for them and it starts to make you money that exact same day that's completely different from what these guys are talking about. So with the info product that he's talking about that you're going to be building, guys, uh, since it's digital, it doesn't have any overhead besides wherever you're hosting it or or something like that. But, um, you know, it's, it's about leverage. That's the word of the day. You want it all to be about leverage. And that's cool. But OK, so the way that they're doing it, you're going to make money from the info product, which is a a book, course, something like that, and then the community, right? But how we teach you to do it, you're going to have 10 different monetizations that you can plug into it, okay? 10 different monetizations. For example, when you uh, get your partner to agree, immediately what we do is we start putting AdSense on all of their platforms, okay? Now, 
platforms that are already getting traffic. So you start earning from day one. From day one, you start earning. Now, this is not AdSense in places that's going to interrupt their uh, sales transactional process or anything like that. So this is why we show you exactly how to do it in agency to partner. On top of that, you instantly get access to their lists. Through the agreement, we are allowed to send out reactivation campaigns that you're going to get percentages on, right? If you're doing this properly, you're going to get percentages on that. For example, if it's a dentist, I'll use this example. If it's a dentist and they've been in business for 10 years or so, they have an extensive list, uh, a mobile list and an email list of prior customers, right? Okay, so you send out a reactivation campaign. Hey, come in, get your teeth whitening for this, blah, blah, blah. You get 50% of that or you know 15%, whatever you guys agree on with your growth partner, right? And you start making money the same damn day and you build trust with that partner because they never thought to send out a reactivation campaign, most of them. On top of that, next, what you're going to do, <laughs> you're going to send out email blasts and a text blast to that same list with follow-up affiliate offers with the permission of your partner, and you'll split that with them. For for example, uh, you know, the little modes for the veneers that you can uh, send to the people's houses, they have to pay for that. Uh, teeth home At home, teeth whitening kits and remedies and all of that stuff and things from Amazon that you can send them that has to do with dental work, right? <laughs> like, come on, guys. Like, so you start making money instantly. None of these guys are talking about that. They're talking about some course and an info product. Of course, you can do this for a local business as well, add some extra income streams to them. But first, what we like to do is plug straight into what they already have, uh, making money, add steroids to it so that us and them can start profiting more than ever. Then we take the money from the profits. Then we outsource the building of all of this info product stuff, <laughs> right? Leverage, 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 leverage. But these are skills that you can learn along the way. But right now, since you're for sure that you're going to be starting this new growth operating business model, you first have to figure out how to sign your first client, which flawlessly brings me to concept one out of four. Well, with knowing literally nothing else, guys, understanding these two simple points will get you your first creator. So number one of the two points is that first you must find creator partner intent. Look in the niche of the creators who are the most desperate for your business help. Then number two, you must build that creator partner intent. Once you find that creator who is as desperate for your business help as possible, you must build the demand for your growth operating service even harder. So they partner with you from everyone else that is offering growth operating. But I can hear you go, but yeah, Tim, how do I build this even creator intent in the first place? Or more importantly, how the hell do I go and find this creator intent, Tim? So let me explain it to you with the funnel theory, where if you understand it, since to get an initial contact with your creator, you'll be sending out outreach messages, you'll be going to sleep from sending out thousands of DMs and email outreaches to only wake up with no new booked meetings with creators, to needing to hire a plumber because your calendar will be so freaking clogged getting okay i like his um you know enthusiasm i like his energy and everything like that but all of this is complicated man for a brand new newbie like a lot of you guys so what i want to do is i want to show you a simplistic way of doing it there's simplicity in christ right that's what the scripture says so i'm going to show you guys a a, a, a better way <laughs> of doing this. So let me share my screen with you. And uh, we're still going to share sound, I believe. All right, you should be looking at my screen now. So we'll come over here. But what I want to show you before I show you the agency to partner program, where we can guarantee that you add an extra 200k per month with without even add new clients. Okay, you pretty much get equity benefits in the business a real actual local business, not some online influencer that just made an Instagram account, a real business, right? You don't even have to invest in them, but let me show you something, okay? So he's talking about sending DMs and everything like that. All right, let me give you an example of something that's way easier. Nobody wants to get all those softwares. Like back in the day, I used to teach that and all of that, but <laughs> you don't need to get all those softwares, plugins, 
automations and all of that, you can get people to start coming to you. You don't even have to do the DM situation. All right. So I'm going to show you something on my Instagram. Uh, these are extremely old videos right here, but let me show you how I got some of the most like, like high paying clients that I ever had back in the day. Now watch this. As you can see right here in this video, it says how Iris can take her competitors' clients, okay? All right, so I made four videos, and this is for real estate. This is when I was in Mexico. I made four videos uh, targeting Iris, but it wasn't just targeting Iris. I purposely did something, okay? Watch this, all right. So it says, this happens for Iris. What if all the top realtors became under you and their luxury clients became yours? I knew this. Right. Like I knew that her competition was going to be looking at this post as well. Why? Because I started tagging them in as well as their friends. OK, we all know the referral traffic is the best traffic. When someone tells you to buy something that you trust, then you're more likely to buy it than if the person that themselves is, uh, you know, the one that owns the product is trying to get you to buy it. So if your friend came over and had some good food and you're like, damn, that's good. And they say, yeah, man, you need to go down there and get you a burger from that new place down there. You don't have to wait for the commercial. You don't have to wait for real like testimonials and doing all that extra stuff. You're going to just go down there and go get it just based off of what your friend said. So what we do is we target the uh, the potential partners or clients, uh, friends. OK, so it has her name in there. But we tagged in her friends and we tagged in her competitors. And what happens is even if her herself don't get back to us, the competitors, if you, you know, if you made compelling, you know, um, you know, content or whatever like that, the competitors are going to reach out to you and be like, yo, I just saw uh, the video that you created to, uh, to teach Iris how to overthrow me. Like, did she get back to you yet? You know, like, hey, how about you do that for me instead? I'll pay you more than what she's paying. So now you create some type of like bidding war and everything. As you can see, you got people talking about some DM me and all of that extra stuff. Right. So like what's going to happen is so what you do, you don't have to do all of that extra outreach and all of that stuff, guys, because all of the competitors in the local area that that business or that influencer, if you're going to do it with influencers, they're all going to see that video once you tag them in and her friends are going to see the video. Reason why I say this, guys. OK, so the dude that we were just watching. OK, a lot of these guys tell you to go ahead and do outreach and everything. But what they don't tell you about Instagram and, and Facebook and a lot of these is if you are not their friend. If they're not following you, you end up in this little hidden message box. You end up in this little inbox that most of them don't even know how to check and stuff like that. So you just have to hope that they accept your follow so that they can be able to see your message and stuff. This is why they have to send out 200 to 500 DMs and all of that. But if you do it the way that I'm teaching you to do, you can create a couple little short videos per day, a couple little short videos per day, targeting the partners that you want to target and tag in like, don't, yo, yo <laughs> don't tell nobody I thought y'all this. I, I, I care about you. You understand? That's why I'm doing this, right? <laughs> so you just target the, the competitors by tagging them in. You just tag them into the post and you target a few of their friends. So the person that you want, you just go to their account and you see who, um, you know, frequently comments on their post and see if she, you, if she or he usually responds to those people. That'll give you a clue or a hint that maybe they know that person personally. And that means they probably DM uh, back and forth with that person as well if they're talking publicly on the post. Right. So if you tag that person in and you impress that person, it's kind of like, OK, look at it like this. Uh, you know, for my guys. Right. You're at the mall and you see a chick that you want to holler at, but she's surrounded by her friends. She got like three, four friends. Right. Usually, even if they're interested, no offense, but a lot of females are followers. Right. So even if she's interested, if their friends are saying, come on, let's leave, let's go and all of that. 
she's going to go with her friends and just diss you, you know? So what you do is you eliminate the threat right off the bat. You want to get somebody that's going to vouch for you, okay? Her closest friends. So what I'll do is I'll wait for the friends to go somewhere else. And I don't approach her because I know they're going to meet back up and they could potentially interrupt our conversation. So what I do is while she's by herself or whatever, I'll approach the friends that would potentially be haters and I'll impress them with you know, something, I don't know, charming or, or information or just asking some questions, letting them know I'm cool. I'm not a threat, right? Like we are neutral right here. So then now when I'm talking to them, I can say, Hey, who's that girl over there? And they go, Oh, that's my friend, Kathy, blah, 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 blah. This. Then I could ask the friends, introduce me. Boom. So now the friends can't like interrupt me and be a hater because they don't want to drag me over to talk to her girl i just met this dude at the food court he's so he's so funny this 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 boom i'm in right so <laughs> not trying to teach y'all game i'm married been married since 2013 anyway but that's <laughs> but this is this works online as well if you try to reach out straight to the influencer or the business owner a lot of the times they're used to being pitched and they don't really like all of that stuff like that. People like shopping, but they don't like being sold to. They want the purchase to be their idea. So you have to convince them of that, right? So what you want to do, you target the friends with the video. And their friends are probably their biggest fans. So if they see something good about real estate or dentistry that can help their friend, they want that credit, the credit to be able to say, hey, you know, Remember when I helped you out with your business by introducing you to that guy or that girl or something like that? That's they want that. That make, that gives them higher status in their friend's life. That it makes it seem like they're more reliable to their friend. Their friend can count on them, right? So if you target that and get in good with them, so you just tag in their friends or whatever and their competitors, you're either going to get reached out to by them, the person that you want to work with, uh, the friend is going to recommend you to them, uh, or the uh, the competition is going to say, yo, 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 I just saw what you did with a uh, girl. Before they hit back, what do we need to do to work there? together right <laughs> and it's genius right like i literally only had to post a few of these before iris's friends came knocking you know what i'm saying yo yo do you know her and like yo like how, how long have you been doing this hey i'm about to call her right now how long are you going to be online right that's how you get your first growth operating partner or client or whatever you got we call them partners I'm not trying to have an, a the typical marketing agency. I don't want to have to do all of that extra bull crap that you guys do, right? I want to plug in my 10 monetization uh, methods into an already profitable business because that's what investors do. But I want to do it without investing. I do it with my skills. And that's what I teach you to do. I want to be able to pull equity out of that company as if I was a co-founder. I want to be able to get profit share on a lot of different things, even the physical assets. And we teach you how to do that. OK, so now. Let's come back over here. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, man. Am I being transparent enough? Am I teaching you something? Is this valuable? OK, so look. It says add an extra 200K per month to your agency without adding new clients. So if you already have one, see, this is the thing. A lot of people are teaching you out to go out there and get a million freaking people. Go and get a million clients. Go and get a million headaches. Go and get a million bosses. No, 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 no. Don't even add nobody new. <laughs> if you already got somebody, we show you how to plug in 10 different monetization methods. Right. So you literally drain the money, you and them. So you're not making them broke. Actually, you're going to make them more money. If they're a local business, what we're going to show you how to do will get them to multiple locations. You understand? And you'll have a piece in partaking in the benefits and the privileges and the festivities of all of that stuff. OK, it's glorious. All right. So you get to enjoy equity benefits without investing in them. OK, so we have like a little webinar slash proof, all of that extra stuff on here. You can check it out if you want to. It is only 200, 200 K. It is only 200 a month for this membership, guys. 
if you have a so-called agency or if you have been having trouble getting started with this growth operating situation, if you're trying to leave SMMA or stop getting clients and get partners like real business partners instead, like grown up stuff, like factories, warehouses, plastic surgeons, like real offline, real business, and you scale them online as well. Come on, man. Like you only need like one, right? Okay, so it says step-by-step -step training to find and monetize 10 different ways, your partners. I just showed you one way that we use to find the partners or actually have the partners find us. Think about it. All the hours and time and money you're spending doing outbound prospecting. The dude in the video said he does outreach. And there's nothing wrong with outreach if you're uh, reaching out for for partners. But I feel like your even your outreach should be uh, in the form of content. Like if I send someone a message or something, it's going to have content in it because I want to answer whatever questions they're trying to come at me with. Like before we can talk, like ah, are you trying to charge me? Look, look, it's in the video. Oh, you want to do ah, read, listen to the video. Right. Like I ain't got time for the excuses and the rebuttals and all of that bull. Guys, leverage, 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 leverage. OK, so you also get our list of um, outreach, automation and sales tracking tools. Remember, nothing wrong with outreach if you're doing outreach to get partners. Don't do outreach for customers. Don't do outreach for clients. Do outreach for partners. And even your outreach needs to be in the form of content. It needs to look as if it's, uh, uh, you know, as if it's inbound, right? <laughs> like, as you can see, you saw our uh, our outreach when I was just posting on, uh, on, on Instagram, right? Like that's our outreach for real, for real. We send emails sometimes to get interviews and stuff like that. But as far as like to get partners and clients and stuff, we'll usually do a video going through anything, the skeptic, skepticism, you know, curiosity, all of that stuff and answering any questions in a form like a FAQ type video and we tag them in it. <laughs> if they're interested, if they're your sheep, Christ will lead them to you. OK. All right. So you get instant access to a new private community where we go live and we help members scale. Plus, as a bonus, you get to offer your so-called clients a 17K in-house bank. So we build a banking platform similar to a Stripe, similar to a Cash App or a PayPal. And it's that business owners. And that way they can control the the uh, the payments of their customers and their employees as an entirely new income stream for them. And it's like crazy money for a business. Right. Or you can offer them our affiliate army, which is 15 K service right there. You will get a percentage of that, obviously. And you get instant access to all other anti-job university paid courses as a free company, uh, as a free bonus, including Godfather drop services and hometown real estate music monetization mastery all one sold over 2k before okay now uh if you don't begin to enjoy faster results with less effort within a week after plugging in our full monetization system we'll cut you a percentage of one of our profitable partnerships you keep community access plus you keep the bonuses Come on, man. Tell me what's going on. Like I said, you can check out all the testimonials on the channel. I'm not going to go and convince you or persuade you or anything like that. As you can see, we know what we're doing. And once you plug in the 10 monetization methods, like you just have no idea what we have on the inside of this mug. Once you plug them in, you can pretty much kick back, you know, rest assured, as they say, um, that you're good. Because as long as that business we, it's kind of like, I don't want to give it a bad uh, analogy or whatever, but you, it's, it's kind of like a parasite, okay? <laughs> okay, so the, the local business that you're going to be dealing with is like a leech. I mean, no, no, they're like a healthy mammal, you know, red-blooded, you know what I'm saying? Got a lot of fat and muscle on it, right? And you are this leech that caught them at the water, you know what I'm saying, when they were trying to get something to drink and you just attached on, right? And you got 10 teeth in your mouth. Those 10 teeth represent 
the 10 monetization methods that you're going to plug in and you're just going to feed and feed and feed. But the only difference between this is you are going to nourish and replenish your host. And, you know, so that's different, right? You're, you're going to protect them kind of like how, uh, uh, how Venom protects Eddie Brock in the, in the damn, the movie, right? So <laughs> it's not going to be like, they're going to be shriveling away. You're going to actually be growing them. As I said, like this method right here will get them from one location to three locations in a year. You understand what I'm saying? Like this is the right way to do growth operating. So what do you guys think? Let me know. Go ahead and sign up in the first pinned comment. Love you guys.